Okay, so this is a really great question. One of my students passed it on to me, and we're going to show you a quick way to tackle it. The solution given by CFA Institute is garbage. I've got a quick way to help you out here. Now, if you don't understand what I'm doing here or what I'm talking about, then I want you just to go back and look at my other video on the basics of swaps. Okay, so let's uh, let's use this quick formula. And the quick formula that we're going to use is uh, the fixed rate on a swap is equal to one minus the last discount factor over the sum of the discount factors. Okay, that's our quick formula. That's what we're going to do. So step one, we're going to get the discount factors. So the discount factors come right from these zero rates. So we're going to do one divided by one plus this zero rate, which is in decimal format 0 0.02727. And if we do that math, we end up with 0 0.9, 0 0.9, Let's get it written down there so we can see it here. 0 0.9778. That's our first discount factor. Let's do the next one. 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.030323. And this is going to be squared because it's two periods from today. And that's going to give us a discount factor of 0 0.9. Four two zero, and let's do the last one. One divided by one plus zero point zero three six five five, and all of this will be cubed because it's three periods from today, and we get a factor of zero point eight nine eight. Four. Now we've got our discount factors. We can drop them into this formula. First thing you're going to do is just add them all up. Let's get the sum. That comes to 2.8182. Now in our formula, one minus the last discounting factor. Here's the last discounting factor right here. It's the last one in the term structure. So one minus 0 0.8982. Four, divide that by the sum of the discount factors, 2.8182. If we do this math, we end up with 0 0.03605. And if we multiply by 100, that gives us 3.605%. This is our fixed rate on the swap. Okay, there it is. So now we can look at our answers. Uh, we can eliminate choice uh, A because it's saying 2.961. Uh, choice B looks like it's correct, uh, uh, 3.605. Uh, uh, and we can get rid of choice C because it's saying 3.09. There it is, less than a, a minute and a half. We've got our answer. That's how you're going to tackle this question. Yeah, I hope this helps you. I've got a lot more of these type of uh, quick tricks that are going to help you through this exam. I want, I want to get you on to the next level, get you on to earning your charter. This is Prof. Gordon from Exam Success. I hope you enjoyed this quick teaching video.